this example is a velocity selector. You have an electric field going from a positive plate to a negative plate. And that is perpendicular to a magnetic field that's going into the page. There's a negatively charged particle traveling in a straight line that encounters this. And we assume that this will be a beam of particles and those particles will have a variety of velocities associated with them. And we want to select one velocity to make its way through and to go through completely straight. Now let's see what effect each field would have on the path of this negative particle. Well again, electric field going positive, negative. A negative particle would be attracted upwards and repelled upwards okay, by the two plates. A reminder that a negative charge always goes opposite the electric field. Now what about the magnetic field? Well, we used the right hand rule. In this case, it's a negatively charged particle, so it will do opposite what the right hand rule says it would do. So let's go ahead and try. We point our fingers in the direction of the velocity, and then we wrap them into the page, because that's the direction of our magnetic field. We see X's, that means into the page. And our thumb will point upwards once we wrap our fingers. But this is a negatively charged particle and it will go opposite that direction. Now what would be true if this particle went straight through? Well, the electric force going upwards must equal magnetic force going downwards. Now let's fill into our equation here. Electric field is going to equal Q times E because remember, electric field is force divided by charge. And that's going to equal Q V B. I will not add the sine of theta because it, we know it's perpendicular to the path and the sine of 90 is equal to 1. This equation does simplify. We cross off the two Q's and solve for velocity. Velocity is going to be equal to a ratio of electric field divided by magnetic field. So we see it does not matter what charge it has, it just matters what the velocity of those charges are. To calculate the velocity that would be unaffected by the electric field and magnetic field, we'll take 20,000 divided by 0 0.50 for the magnetic field. The electric field is 20,000, magnetic field is 0.5. That'll give us 40,000 meters per second. So charges that encounter this velocity selector that are moving 40,000 meters per second will go through in a straight line to come out the other side.